Should we do a little more? So let's do some seated. Just rub your hands for a minute. All right. So let's just work with uh, the energy ball for a minute. And this is um, in Qigong and, and different internal martial arts. You'll spend a lot of time working with this and just playing with moving out and coming in, right? And as you come in, see if you can start to feel the pressure. It's different than joint pressure. It feels like the air is denser and then you come away. Yeah. And it's really interesting because this is the magnetic pole so we have positive and negative charges in the body. And so as your hands come in this certain range, you actually feel the positive negative push of the magnet. Uh, what do you call that? The electromagnetic energy of life force. Okay. It's, it's really scientific. It's not woo woo. This is because you're alive and you have electricity. Our heart is a big electrical thing like the sun. Yeah. And we also have mass. This is a physical mass body. So you've got life force, heat, yeah, electrical energy. And then you bring your hands together and you can feel that there is a pressure that happens with the hands. And then if you get in a little bit closer, it gets less. It's weird. You, it's the most pressure is about uh, a foot apart and then as you it gets a little bit more and then it, as you get closer it, whew, it dissolves it's interesting yeah and uh, I don't know I, I just this is Annie thinking here but just the Sun if you look at this I've got a new video that's just amazing about the Sun now because the Parker probe is is gotten they say touch the Sun it's gotten into that field and it's super exciting but uh, the magnetic forces change at, at certain amounts uh, it, close and far from the sun and I, it's too much complexity for me to even explain but I think we feel it in our own hands this life force and as it comes really close it's like oh now I could do that and there's not much pressure but out here I can feel the pressure so it's fun to play with they, we call them energy balls and you know physicists just cringe at that word but you play with this uh, force of life force yeah expanding and if, if you think about it as my corona you know you're playing with your field here yeah and then what's really cool is that when you are in nature it's like you will magnetically be drawn to wildlife you'll sense there's an eagle in that tree and you look up there's an eagle you know so it will start tuning you in to life around you and, and this is good in ways of connection it's also good for protection that you're aware that you're in someone else's space. If it's a bear near you or something that you don't want to get too close, you will sense the bear and you'll be look around and you're like, and then you go, Oh, I can sense something here. And then maybe you see it, you know? All right. So this practice is so useful for building awareness in nature. And I'm always amazed. The more I work with this, and now let's go to your own field around your head and down. I'm amazed at how I keep evolving my ability to be tuned in. All right. And even when I'm not really trying to tune in, I'll be like, Oh, and then there's the deer watching me or something like that. And I'll be like, wow, that was so cool. I wasn't looking for the deer and I felt the deer. And I'll even have an image of like deer, you know, in my mind, like, wow, I'm 
something's working, you know. So, or squirrel or whatever it is, you'll start to sense these things as you t keep your body clear and your field contained, you will see more and more in, in nature. So let's finish with just some stroking. All right, all the way down. You start to appreciate how important our warm-ups are when we go in detail now, and then you do these warm-ups, um, it becomes, I don't know, it's like you're turning water to wine or something. It's like these common things in, in daily life, even washing hands or just touching myself, I'm like, woo, I'm alive. You know, it just wakes up my attention and uh, I'm, I'm not going to miss so much of life now, you know, especially as we age, we're like, we're aware we're not here forever and we want to get the most out of that piece of cake or that nice meal or that cup of tea and just really enjoy our lives to the fullest, okay? So I love this practice so much and I hope you can play with it. Write me how it works for you. And then when we do our warm-ups, you have a little more extra now to, to use with it, okay?